Losing a child is the last thing that I want to hear about. Another time. <laughs> no, no, I came here to forget about Ethan and Gwen taking Jane away from me, and damn it, I'm gonna do it. into that song for a reason she was singing about a child chad get off it it was just a song no no not a chance julian tell your mistress i am right miles is your grandson too and chad has no right to keep me from seeing my grandson miles isn't your grandson ivy what well that doesn't make any sense if i'm the boy's father then then she's his grandmother right Are you sure you're ready to hear the truth, Catherine? Catherine, please, you don't. Martin, do stay this. out of this. We've come this far, we end it. Though our new tragedies may be revealed to tonight's work. Tell me who this is. What secret has haunted all our lives all these years, Alistair? to celebrate Endora. Soon Sheridan will board a plane for Paris. And she and Louise will be separated forever. <laughs> oh, Mummy's done it again. She's still got the mojo, hasn't she? <laughs> oh. Oh, very funny, I don't think. Which of you spirits is the party pooper, huh? Hey, look at that. Oh, I think the, the bowl's got a warning for us about a phone call. I wonder who's talking to who about what. Should we eavesdrop in, Dora? Sheridan? Oh, God, it's your machine again. It's Dottie. I've been trying to reach you. I redid the DNA test on Marty, and I have the results. Oh! Rats and bats! No, no, not yet! No, no, 
Sheridan can't find out anything from Dotty yet. It's too soon. I, I, I can't allow that. No, first, first Sheridan has to vermouth. She has to leave Harmony and stay as far away from Louise as possible. Yo, Bo, show me Sheridan and Louise pronto. Maybe Dotty found a mistake in the first DNA test. Maybe she found that my DNA really does match Marty's. <sighs> Louise, I know that look. Oh, come on, don't try and hide it. You don't believe me. You think that I'm crazy. No, just uh, don't you think that Dottie would have said something? I'm Marty's father. She knows how important that news would be to us. Yeah, you're probably right. Well, well I, I, I better go. I'll, um... I'll call Donnie from the sure, phone. Please, stay. Look, I love you, all right? Come on, we'll work this out. At least there's nothing left for us to work out. Okay? Goodbye. Sheridan, wait. Charity. Am I kidding? It's no use. Take a tip from a pro. You might want to eat something when you drink. Oh. And, uh, whatever's bothering you, drinking's not gonna make it any better. Well, I don't know about that. See, I just lost everything. I, I lost my baby. And I lost the man that I love. Does this guy love you? I don't know, because uh, he, he was uh, really, really cruel tonight. So I don't think so. Love makes people do some pretty strange things. You don't have to tell me that. Well, Harmony's a small town. I'm sure you'll run into him. No, I don't. I don't. I don't want to run into him because I'm really, really angry right now. And if I saw him, I don't know what I would do. Excuse me. Look, Jeff. You've got to let go of your feelings for Whitney. You're playing with fire. She's your sister. Well, tell me about it. Look, I know we can't have the kind of relationship we had before. But I really don't care what people think. Whitney and I can raise miles together, live together platonically. I give up. I guess once you've had the kind of love you and Whitney shared, you can't settle for less. Chad, hey, Ethan, what's going on? How are you doing? I got your message. It sounded urgent. What's up? Yeah, it's about an important project I have at work. I need some advice, some legal advice. Okay, what's the matter? Well, someone got real cute and tried to sabotage my work. I need a way to protect myself, legally. Industrial sabotage, yeah, that's, there's a lot of that lately. It's one of Alistair's greatest fears. I can, I can help you out, and I can get the legal staff behind you. Who tried to sabotage me? Who else? Our boy Fox. So explain yourself, Dr. Russell. Now, please. 
Ah, uh, well, she, uh, she misspoke. She misspoke. You've been making a habit of that lately, huh? I'm interested, too, Eve. What on earth did you mean? Please, no more from you right now, okay? I have to get ready for my next set. Yeah. Yeah, you'll have time for this. Come on. What? What's going on? Well, I was hoping maybe you could help us out. See, your mother keeps telling my mother that she has no right to see my son because my mother isn't my son's grandmother. And I found that very interesting. I mean, don't you think that's interesting, Whitney? Because... Because if I'm my son's father, then my mother is surely his grandmother, right? Okay, something is going on here. One of you say something. Why did you say I can't be that child's grandmother? Mom? No, that's it, Whitney. I, I, I just, I can't keep this to myself any longer. I'll tell you exactly what I meant. Is there something wrong with me because I won't believe a crazy theory that Marty's our son? Maybe I should have lied and agreed with everything she said. But that's no good. A love based on lies isn't worth anything. Why couldn't I stop her? It really must be over for us. <laughs> you got that right, Buster. <laughs> Watch me, sweet pea. It's time for Mummy to kick up her heels. <laughs> Sheridan's off to gay Barry. Ah, oh, she's out of Louise's life for ever. <laughs> I can get back at Fox without lowering myself to his level. Now, I'm not into all this sabotage and office politic nonsense. But, you know, this has got to stop. I can't get into some crazy war with Fox. Because once it starts, it's going to go round and round and round and just not stop. Well, I know what you mean. So how do I cut him off at the pass before he gets too far? Cut him off. That's, that's what I should have done. You must be worried about Teresa and Gwen. Right. What's the latest? Ah, uh, I'm sorry. No, another time. It's been a bad, bad night. Is there anything I can do? No. No, this is a one-man job. I'll tell you what. Just um, forget about Fox and we'll talk in my office tomorrow. Okay? I'm sorry. I got so much on my mind. I'm sorry. I'll think about what you said though, and I'll uh, I'll talk to you first thing tomorrow. All right? Good night, Valerie. Good night, Ethan. Oh, Ethan, um, yeah. whatever it is, good luck. Thanks. The truth is, Mom. Oh, tell us what you meant, Dr. Russell, when you said that my mother wasn't my son's grandmother. The truth, please. Mind your manners, Fox. I didn't raise you to talk to a lady like that. You didn't raise him at all. I did. And I am very interested in what the good doctor has to say. E. All right. If you want to know, I'll tell you what I meant. I'm going to tell you because it's, it's time. It's way past time. Darling. No, Julian, I have to speak. I'm just so tired of walking on eggshells. The truth is,
Okay, we're waiting, Eve. You were saying the truth? The truth is that you've... You've been a very bad mother to your own children, Ivy. What? Well, you wanted to hear the truth, so... Now you just have to deal with it. You haven't taken any interest or any involvement in, in your children's lives. I mean, when's the last time that you even spoke to one of your daughters? You see, you can't even remember. You've been a dreadful mother, Ivy, and she's been a dreadful mother to her own children. Why would we think that she could be any real grandmother to Miles? Uh, what? And you're any better? A, a drug-addicted drunk? And she's still your mistress living in sin. Is that a good example for Miles? He'd be in the same position if Sam had kicked you out of... All right, okay, everybody, please, uh, you know, stuff it. Now, look, maybe my mother wasn't there for me when I was growing up, but she's trying to make up for it now. At least one of my parents is trying to help me get my son back. And what's with the guilty look, huh? Too little, too late. Because when I needed you, you were on Chad's side. And he may have adopted my son, but I will get him back. No, Fox, just forget it. It's over. No, it's not over, Whitney. You may have taken my son away from me, but that's temporary, okay? I'm gonna get him back. My mother's gonna help me. Let's go, Granny. Let's go talk this over. <laughs> Perhaps a bit too much to drink. No, as a matter of fact, I haven't had nearly enough, thank you. I'm sorry, Whitney, I'm sorry. I mean, I almost told Ivy your secret, and I know it's not my right. But I think that I'd just cover my tracks. I don't think anyone suspects anything. I mean, you've got to stop this. You've got to quit flipping up like that and saying things like that, because people are going to suspect the truth, and then my life and Miles's life is going to be over. Do you understand? <sighs> Sweetheart. <laughs> Come here, listen to me. I heard you singing tonight. You're marvelous. Yes. Yes, you were, and I, I'm very proud of you. But I don't want you to think that I can't tell how much pain you were in, because I heard it in your voice. I heard it in every note. Yes, I'm not in pain. Look, I did what I had to do. I did it. It's over. And, you know, I'm just moving on with my life now. It's so obvious that your heart is just broken over giving Miles up for adoption. Just leave me alone, please. How can I? How can I leave you alone when I know what it feels like? I know what it felt like when I thought I'd lost Chad forever. I thought he was dead. Every time that I sang, the grief just welled up inside of me, and I... It would just come pouring out of my throat, just like your grief did tonight. Please, don't let this pain destroy you. It's not too late for you, Whitney. You can tell the truth. You can get your baby back. Really, Catherine, I'm rather surprised that you don't know the identity of the dearly departed. You're gonna... You're gonna tell her, spit it out. <laughs> I'm not sure about this. You really want to know? You bore me a secret, this horrible secret, long enough. I didn't want to share the burden with you. It's okay. You too, truly, are revolting, aren't they, my dear? Hmm? Uh, aren't you able to guess who's lying here, Catherine? I mean, it's someone who's quite close to you, someone you knew quite well. She was a great beauty. Catherine, you don't have to look at her face. Just her hand. Her hand? Yes, yes. I mean, take a good look at her hand. You might recognize something. Catherine, you don't have to do this. We, we could leave right now and forget all about it. No, Mark. I've seen what this secret has done to you and everyone I love. You're haunted by this. If I learn, maybe I'll understand.
truth, because Chad will give you back the baby. I know that he will. And then you can raise the baby that I know you love so dearly. If you'll excuse me, I have to get ready for my next set. Miss Russell? Mm. I loved your last set. You're the real thing. Can I buy you a drink? That is so sweet. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd love a drink. Thank you. Cool. Ethan? What are you doing here? I, I just got here a few minutes ago. I thought you'd be home with Gwen and Jane. I'm on my way. I, I was just... I had to meet with Chad for some company business, that's all. Well, I'm just so glad that all of Gwen's legal troubles are over. And you even managed to wrest the baby out of Teresa's arms. Oh, I wish I could have been there to see mother, that. Mother, mother, there's no picnic, all right? I'm not happy about hurting her. She's in agony over losing our child, okay? And it's my fault. And you know, you know how I feel about her, all right? <sighs> okay, Ethan. That is in your past. You are with Gwen now, and you have to cut Teresa out of your heart. Like you did with Sam? Okay, don't do as I do, do as I say. Learn from this, Ethan. Teresa deserved to lose her baby. You said so yourself in court. You cannot trust her with that child. And, and let's not forget that it was Teresa that set this whole mess in motion in the first place. It was her obsession with revenge that landed the three of you in court. Don't feel guilty, Ethan. And don't let her blame you because she is not innocent. She loves me. You have no idea. You don't know. Oh, you don't yes, know. Ethan. Yes, I know. I know. But people move on. And if you're ever tempted to go back with her, and you just remember what she did to us, to you. She destroyed all of our dreams, the dreams I had for you since the day you were born. Somehow, I don't know how, she managed to find out that you were in a crane, a secret I had kept for over two decades. And she sent that information to the sleaziest tabloid in the country. Would a woman who loves you set out to destroy you like that? Let her go, Ethan. If she's capable of hurting you like that, I don't know what she's capable of next. Huh, you need a refill? No, um, you were right. I thought I could drink one of my problems, but alcohol's not the solution. Thanks. Hang in there, kid. Closely, Catherine. Once you know this uh, poor soul's identity, you'll understand. Uh, just take a, a look at her hand. It was so lovely once. Stop it. No. She asked for it. She's going to get it. What can I learn by looking at her hand? Not her hand, Catherine. Her ring. Look closely. without talking to Dottie first. I, I need to know why she called, and if it's for the reason that I think it is, then I need to be here when I hear it. So I can get my son back. 
think so. It's time to call Dottie. about me now, huh? <clears throat> You've been in Chad's corner this entire time. Don't go and change sides now. I'm trying not to take sides. No. No, you're supporting Chad. He stole my son away from me, and you and Dr. Eve have been his biggest cheerleaders through this whole mess. My son, Miles. Miles. Not really a name I would have chosen, but... Well, then again, I guess that's what you get when you don't get to name your own son. Let me tell you something. I don't give a damn what those adoption papers say. I'm that boy's biological father, not Chad. And you don't see the injustice in that. Fox, I'm trying to help. Since when are you trying to help, huh? You've always been a zero as a parent. Way before this, a Dr. Eves criticizing my mother's parenting skills? Well, at least she was there for me occasionally when I was growing up, which is more than I can say for you. Oh, and the fact that you won't even try and help me get my son back right now proves that you're a worthless parent. I'm never gonna treat my son like that. I'm gonna be there for him. But I don't expect you to understand that because you were never there for me. Never. You're still not. Go ahead, come on, do it again. Do it again, get it out if it helps you. If it helps you, get it out, because I deserve it. And I hate seeing you like this. My God, Ethan, you, you took my baby from me. You took her from my home, where, she, where she was safe and warm, and you know how much I love her, and you still took her from me. Damn you, Truth. damn you, I hate you, Ethan, I hate you! <laughs> What, dear? Oh, I'm almost afraid to look. Oh, no. Oh, Sheridan didn't leave for Paris after all. Oh, I... I should have known that was far too easy. Oh. Well, this doesn't look good, Endora. All right. Hello? Dottie, it's Sheridan. I, I just got your message. Did you rerun the DNA test? Yes, and I have the results right here in front of me. not used to drink. Well, at this rate, she soon will be. Eve, this isn't your fault. Isn't it? That's a young me there. This will drown my sorrows and bruise. 
And if something doesn't change soon, then she might even go on to cocaine or worse. But I can't get through to her. She just won't listen to me. I know the feeling I can't save Fox from his own downward spiral. A child who isn't even his. time you saw the ring? Do you remember when that hand was animated? It's so full of life. Just stop torturing her. She wanted to know the truth. Martin. Martin, you knew. All these years you knew. And you said nothing. Martin. You don't want to take after your father, or Whitney. Well, don't worry about me. I have far too many plans. Don't let anything get in the way. Well, that's a positive detail. Okay. Well, first things first, I have to get my son back. And then, um, I don't know. I thought I'd make Chad pay a little bit, you know? And then after that, make him pay a little more. And then maybe after that, make him pay a little more. I'll be damned if that guy's gonna come in here and steal not only my son, but my birthright at Crane Industries. Because that empire, mother, is mine. Bravo. And I will help you any way I can. Eve did have a point. I haven't been the most attentive mother, but I am here for you now. And I will do whatever it takes to help you secure your birthright. One of my sons already lost his chance to rule Crane. That is not going to happen to you. Okay. Oh, Gwen's got my baby. She's got my Jane. She's got our child because you helped her. And it hurts, it really, it really hurts, Ethan. I'm so sorry. Trina said the pain that you are feeling. I swear to God, I am so sorry about this. <laughs> Why are you sorry, Ethan? You won. You got everything you ever wanted. You got Jane. You got Gwen. Your life should be just perfect now. You know that isn't true. Oh, no. Don't even start. Not now, okay? I heard you back at the house. You and Gwen till death do you part. I lost everything. You've got it all. I don't have you. I don't have you. I don't have the woman who's really in my heart. I don't have the woman I truly love. I don't have her. I should be with you. I should be with Jane. And little Ethan and you. God, Teresa, I should be with you. I go forever. Won't find the one true love that I've ever known. Look at her. Woman in the crypt. Woman buried under the gazebo all these years. No, this is just another one of your evil games, Alistair. It's one of your tricks. Mark, please tell me it's not true. No tricks, Catherine. It's all very real. No, no, no. 
I can't breathe. I need air. I need out of here. Oh, you have to calm yourself no, down. No, Please calm no, yourself down. No. You have to do it for sure. No, safe. Alistair, tell me it's impossible. Stop Oh, no, no, no. But if you want proof, Catherine, take a look. Look at her face. No. It can't hurt you. Yes, she can. Oh, no. look, look. Take a look. I can't. A look, Catherine. Look at her face. No. Yes, look at her face. Look closely. Oh, no. Take a look at her face. Look at that face. This is the woman Sheridan called mother. No. Look at your sister, Rachel. Oh no, this is a disaster. It wasn't supposed to end this way. Sheridan was supposed to be over the Atlantic now, putting thousands of miles between her and Louise and her son, Marty. I have the new results of the DNA test right here in front of me. It's quite exciting. I ran your DNA sample and Beth Wallace's as well. And then I did a cross comparison of some specific genetic strings against those of Okay, um, Dottie, I'm sorry, but I really don't need all the technical details right now. I just need to know one thing. The most important thing is what I know in my heart truth. Is Marty my son? I like to travel in style. I don't blend. Do I, Preston? We're not careful. We're, you're going to be traveling in a body bag. We have to get that money back and make sure they don't talk ever again. I'd give it anything to steal this one more night with you.